Hey, hey, love and all that goodish gang. Welcome back to the channel. Those that are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I just want to say I thank everybody for the views, the likes, comments, the support. I truly appreciate it. And I'm just so happy that the universe, you know, allowed us to cross paths. So today our reading is going to be just channel love messages from our person or whoever's on your mind since it's Valentine's Day. So I'm going to give you guys a lot of love messages, you know, just to give you a ooey gooey vibe and make you feel good. Okay. That last reading was heavy, y'all. Like, woo, heavy. Okay. So we're going to be lighthearted today. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoy the reading. Peace, love, and light. Okay, guys, I'll give you a few moments to make your selections. Pile one's Valentine's Day card is Be My Valentine. And the love note from the person on your mind is You Are My Inspiration. Pile two's Valentine's Day card is You and Me. And the love note from the person on your mind is My Heart Skips a Beat When I See You. Pile three, your Valentine's Day card is We Make a Great Pair, Hugs and Kisses. And your love note for the person from the person on your mind is I love being with you. And pile four, your Valentine's Day card is love you to the moon, stars, and back. And your love note from the person on your mind is I fall for you all over again every day. So go ahead and intuitively pick your piles. If you are drawn to more than one, go ahead and select more than one. Timestamps will be below. Hey, hey, Pile One, welcome to your reading. For those who are returning, thank you so much for supporting your girl. I appreciate every subscriber, every like, every comment, every view. For those that are new, my name is Empress Goddess of Healing, and I'm so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths today. So if you didn't watch the intro, today's reading is just channel love messages from your person. So your person had, or the person on your mind, had me do a little automatic writing. So I do have a love note inside the Valentine's Day card. And we're just going to find out, you know, what your person thinks about you, what they want to say to you for Valentine's Day. And then we're going to get a lot of little love messages. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Pile one, you guys chose the B my, I can't even grab the card. <laughs> My hands greasy the be mine valentine's day card okay so this person has a deep deep crush on you pile one you may know who this person is you may not know who this person is but they are crushing on you hard they really have a desire for you to be theirs they want to claim you pile one and the card says sending you lots of hugs and love this Valentine's Day. This B, you buzz around in their energy field, in their mind a lot, pile one. They can't get you off of their mind. They said you are their inspiration. So they find you very inspiring, very uplifting. They feel you have a great balance of sternness with femininity, okay? They have two other love messages for you. Home is wherever you are. So they feel very comfortable around you, although I feel this person has a, a shy, reserved vibe. They just feel very comfortable. You have a, I'm hearing a down home, like, type of vibe. Um, just very easy going is what I'm hearing. And then they said, date night tonight. So this person definitely wants to ask you out on a date. You guys may have interacted with each, each other, maybe on like a friendship level. You could roll in the same friend group, but this person wants to like move things to the next level. If you guys are just friends and you don't know that this person really has a thing for you, they want to step it up to the next level. So this is their love note that they had me write for you. And it says, oh, let me turn it up the right way. <laughs> If you only knew how much I'm into you, thoughts swarm around inside my head nonstop. I've let on, I've flirted, but never to the extent I have desired to. Your confidence stops me cold. I become speechless. My words become jumbled. They fumble as they spill from my lips. I want you. My desires for you overflows. Be mine. We can take things slow, but be mine. Let our loves intertwine and become one. Take the leap, I'll catch you. If I had the courage, I'd say these words to you. I wonder what your response would be. 
What I would want to hear most is I'm yours. The one that admires you most. And I forgot to tell you too, the channel song that um, is for you, Pile One, is mine by Beyonce featuring Drake. So I'm telling you, <laughs> this person wants to claim you. They want you to be theirs, okay? They said we can take things slow. So I do feel a person who's very eager and excited to pursue this love with you. You may be in a cautious energy because they're saying we can take things slow if maybe, I just feel like this person may just, when they finally come to you, they may come on strong or may appear that they're coming on strong. But this person has been thinking about this, ruminating over this for a while, pile one. And I think their emotions are now just bubbling up to the surface. Okay. So we're going to get used to tarot. The tarot I'm going to use to channel a message. Okay. So we're going to channel a message from them right now. And then I'm gonna get some love messages. We're gonna let the person tell you, you know, just how they're feeling and what they love about you. And then I'll get you love messages and I'm gonna get you out of here. We're gonna leave this, you know, short and cute and sweet, okay? Cause I'm telling you that last read, woo child. I needed to break y'all. That was just so much. Where's my wand at? We'll use this one. Clear the energy of this deck. All right, person. What would you like to say to pile one? How are you feeling about pile one and what do you love about them? Okay, let's go. I've been keeping things hidden from you. Not anything that would make you cautious or worry of me, but just how I feel. I feel so deeply for you. I feel like we have a secret love that we're supposed to go on this journey together. I just don't know if you see me the way that I see you. I fantasize about you all the time. I dream of you sometimes, but they're confusing to me. In my dreams, I'm, it seems like I'm always chasing you, that I'm always trying to catch you, but I can never keep you in my grasp. I want to expose my feelings to you. I want to tell you how I feel. I want to tell you how wild you make me inside. How I have this uncontrollable urge to just tell you, I love you. I can't believe I'm saying it, but I do. I love you. Be mine. Don't be indecisive about us. Whatever you feel that you can't see clearly, ask me and I'll tell you. If I've done anything to make you feel that you can't make a decision about us, I'm sorry. I never meant to confuse you. I never meant for you to question me. Just sometimes I don't know what to say. I'm in my head a lot. I don't want to be at a standstill. I don't want us to not move forward. Whatever I need to rebuild, I rebuild to move forward. Because I just feel so many romantic feelings for you. Sometimes I idolize love. Maybe I'm a dreamer. Maybe I'm a hopeless romantic, but that's okay. Because I feel my love could be safe with you. I want you to feel your love can be safe with me too. I want to send you a message. I want to tell you, you these things that I feel. But I don't want you to reject me. Don't think that my love is childish. Don't think that I, I'm too overboard with my emotions and my feelings. I'm just so excited, so excited to finally tell you how I feel. I'll be that charismatic lover for you. I'll be the leader that you need. I want to take action on this. I want to show I stand in my power and I'm full of confidence. I have so much passion and desire for you. I want to be that stable, trustworthy, loyal partner that you desire. And I can be that. Just give me a chance. Because that's how I see you. You are a queen. 
You stand on your throne. You're so humble. You're so generous. You're so loving. You're so stable. You nurture me. Even though you don't really know that you do. It's just your presence. It's just being in your space. You're so generous. You're just so loving to everyone. And you're not materialistic. That's one of the things I love most about you. You'll give all of yourself for someone in need. And I love that about you. I want to give everything to you. I know I've been closed up. I know I've been guarded. I know I haven't expressed these things. But I'm opening up now. I hold things close to my chest until I fully know that it's safe. It's safe for me to be vulnerable. I'm ready to be vulnerable. I'm ready to not just hold on to false senses of security. Because again, my love overflows for you. I said it just pours out for you and I want to pour it onto you. Let's take this new beginning in love. Let me shower you with love. Because all I can do is sit up at night and think of you. I don't want to have anxiety about not telling you how I felt. I don't want to let my fears overtake me. Let's let the stress and worry of past hurts go. And let's have a new beginning. Be mine. Please be mine. I want to rush towards you. I want to take action. I want us to have passion, love. I want us to explore this magnetic pull and chemistry we feel between the two of us. I want to take you out on a romantic date. And I don't want to be flighty with you. I know. I know this energy can be hectic, can be scattered. Don't worry, our love and passion won't fizzle out too soon. I'll make sure of it. Again, we can take our time. Just be mine. Okay, pile one. All right, now look, I did cut to the 10 of swords. So if you, you know who this person is, it could have been a person who you guys had an ending with, but what I'm getting with that 10 of swords is that maybe both of you guys have had pain in the past. And this person doesn't want to bring that pain into this new beginning if you choose to have a new beginning with this person or that they just want to heal you from whatever hurt and pain that you have experienced in past relationships. So I get both of you guys could be a little guarded, all right, with the four of pentacles. But this person definitely uh, wants to invest in you and is holding on tight to you they definitely have some type of emotional attachment to you so let's go ahead and get some love messages because y'all know i'm gonna have to look it back i don't really be knowing all that i be saying so let's go ahead and just keep on going with some love messages so this is my i love you deck and we're gonna see why the person who is admiring you so tough what they love about you okay and then we're gonna get some feelings exposed. I do have a deck for those who are in separation, long distance, or no contact. And since you may not know who this person is, we'll get some of those. And we're going to close it out with a Be My Valentine love note, okay? So clear the energy of this deck. Okay, person, why do you love pile one? We have, I love the way you inspire me to be better. Now, I can't make that up. Did they not say you inspired in pile one? Come on through. You are inspiring this person. What else, person? I love you because you love God. Look at that there. So pile one, you have high morals. You have standards. Whether you're religious, spiritual, whatever you do, they love that moral compass that you have and that you believe in something higher than yourself. What else, person, do you love about pile one? I love how you tell me stories from your childhood. So this could be a friend pile one or someone that you just express things to at one point and they love how vulnerable and open that you were. I get that this person again is a little shy and maybe has a little difficulty going back to that four of pentacles with opening up and so now they want to be vulnerable and transparent with you give me one more 
I love you except my flaws and all. Look at that there. So I get that this is a person, Pile One, who has been around your energy, like I said, for a while. This person has watched you, observed you, seen how you interact. This person could have even seen you be in a relationship with someone else at the time and just really admired how you carried yourself, how you act regardless of how that situation panned out. This person has a lot of love for you, a lot of admiration for you, but I get that they've been around you. You just may not have known or really noticed this person or how they truly feel. Bottom of the deck, I love all the traditions we have shared. So this is definitely somebody who's been around you where you guys have been able to kind of establish some type of friendship, Maybe this is the person you talk to online, work with, a family friend, definitely somebody who's been around you, okay? So this is my feelings exposed deck. Those want to stay out, so we'll keep them. And let's see what other feelings they would like to express to you. And then, you know, I just hope that these, these little messages are warming your heart, okay? We have, I come alive around you this is a person around you pile one they said they come alive you inspire them you spark passion in them you just light them up i can be myself around you now didn't they say over there you accept them flaws and all okay you just have a loving vibe pile one i picture you are mine now, i can't this person has said you are mine in the channel song with beyonce featuring drake be mine with the dog on card pile one and now they saying i picture you are mine going back to that moon card i think i said something about fantasizing they fantasize you were already there it says your life looks great while mine is falling apart so this person could be going through a little something right now we do have the nine of swords and the two of swords so they could just be plagued with a little anxiety a little depression maybe just some outside influences are affecting them and Maybe that's why also they have not come forward or they could just feel like without you, their world would fall apart. And let's get at the bottom of the deck. It says, I saved the best for last. So what I'm getting with I saved the best for last, this could be a person again who was just dating other people, just in a friend group or just somewhere this person is around you. Somehow this person is able to keep an eye on you and maybe they wanted to just play the field or maybe they you know they really weren't looking for anything serious or a type of commitment but with you you've sparked something in them where they want to take a chance on you and they want to have some type of commitment with you because they keep saying be mine all right so let's see what long distance love messages this person would like to say even if they are around you you know they obviously have not told you these things. So let's see what other thoughts they may have that you don't know. Pile one. Clear the energy of this deck. All right, person, what else would you like to tell pile one? If you listen to the wind very carefully, you'll be able to hear me whisper my love for you. Look at that there. It says, if you listen to the wind very carefully, you'll be able to hear my me whisper my love for you. So this person is always wishing you their love, wishing you the best, sending out prayers, good vibes to you, pile one, whether they're in your presence or not. You are the best thing I have ever waited for. This person has been patiently waiting for you, Pile One. So if you are with someone, Pile One, there's someone who's waiting in the wings, okay, for you to either wrap that up so that they can be like your knight in shining armor, or again, they have waited a long time for the perfect moment to say these things to you, to confess their love for you we have my heart will travel as far as you are it has no limits i love you did i not just say that they love you it has no limits ace cups overflowing okay and it says the longer you wait for something the more you appreciate it when you get it because anything worth having is always worth the wait this person has been waiting a long time. All we keep talking about is waiting and being mine, pile one. So this person wants to have something with you. 
They want to be able to, I'm here and have a union. They want a union. They said they'll date for a little bit, but they want a union with you, pile one. So this is the Be My Valentine. I don't know why I'm having a hard time shuffling these cards today. I don't know if it's my hands is greasy or what. But we're gonna go ahead and get a final little message from your person. And then I'm gonna go ahead. Y'all, I am struggling with the cards today. Like, I cannot. Whew. I feel like your person nervous. From when I started, I felt like my energy been fumbled. So this person is very nervous um, to express these things to you. They don't want to be rejected. Remember they said they hope that they hear that you are theirs by the end of them saying all these things to you. Clear the energy of this deck. Okay, person. What final Be My Valentine's Day note would you like or message? There we go. Would you like to give pile one? And we have, if I know what love is, it's because of you, Herman Hesse. So you have taught this person love. I'm telling you, however you interact, pile one, just the, your generosity, your kindness, how you view life. Some of you guys may be connected to nature, like outdoors, just however you interact. They say, they're saying that you taught them love. Just through watching you, they were able to see what love is. And it says, if you remember me, then I don't care if anyone else forgets. This is somebody from your past, Pile One. Look at that there. I told you it is somebody or who is in your energy field around you right now it says, if you remember me, then I don't care if everyone else forgets. And this name is Haruki. Marakami. So they don't care if nobody else forgets them, doesn't acknowledge them, doesn't talk to them. They could give a good god dog. All they care about is if Pile One remembers them. So Pile One, I hope you enjoyed your channel love messages from whoever is on your mind or your person for Valentine's Day. If you enjoy the reading and you love kicking it with your girl, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post a reading or a video. I am trying to get on a schedule to do it once a week. I do apologize that this one took so long. Um, I was under the weather and then that last reading was just very heavy, okay? But again, I'm just so thankful that you guys came to join me on this Valentine's Day and I can't wait to see you for the next reading. Thank you so much for your support. Peace, love, and light. Hey, hey, Pile 2, welcome to your reading. For those who are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting your girl. I appreciate every subscriber, every like, every comment, every view. I appreciate the support. Those that are new, my name is Empress Goddess of Healing, and I'm so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths today. So if you did not watch the intro, this reading is just basically channel love messages from your person for Valentine's Day. So they had me do some automatic writing, so I do have a love note that I have written from your person to you or the person on your mind. And then we have Valentine's Day card. We're going to get a lot of love messages, okay? So this is going to be a lighthearted reading. For those who watched the last reading, y'all know it was heavy, y'all. It took me out. So I apologize that this reading took so long to come out, but I hope you guys enjoy. So let's get into the reading, all right? So pile two, you guys chose the Valentine's Day card, you and me. So the person that is on your mind is having thoughts of you guys together. Whether you, you are with this person or not with this person, their thoughts are of you guys like a couple in their mind. In their mind, you guys are together or they envision you guys being together. And the card says, Here, here's to us on Valentine's Day. So. If you are in separation with this person, this person really is desiring and longing for you this Valentine's Day. If things could be different, I don't know what the circumstance is as of right now, but whatever it is, they wish they were spending Valentine's Day with you. Their love note to you is, my heart skips a beat when I see you. So they are definitely attracted to you, Pile 2. You take their breath away. They say you keep them on their toes is what I heard. Uh, maybe you change your look up a lot or um, I heard you look different. 
um, you never look the same. So even if you don't alter your look like that, if you're posting pictures or whenever they see you, you just always bring something new or what's the word I'm looking for? They just always look at you as if they've never seen you before is what I heard. So you just very put together pile two and you just add a little like spice, a little spark in their life and they like that, okay? They also said, every day you manage to take my breath away. Now, didn't I just say that? Every day you manage to take my breath away. So again pile two it's just something about you it's almost like they can't put their finger on it but it's something about you that just draws them to you it's something about you that i heard they can't get enough of okay come on through pile two and it says i love being with you so they love spending time with you pile two they love talking to you is what i heard pile two They love the moments you share is what I heard, pile two, okay? I'm getting in this pile, some of you guys may be together and some of you guys may not be together in this one. So I, cause I do get a feeling like someone may be watching someone from afar. But regardless of the situation, any moment that this person can spend with you, I'm hearing that they love and they cherish and they want to have more. They want to have more time with you. So let's see what the love note says. And it says, you and me, what a beautiful thing we could be. I've made mistakes, but you are never one of them. My love for you is uncontrollable. You make me shout it from the rooftops. When I think of you, my heart longs to give you the best, my most purest and rawest forms, the ends of me. I love you. I always have. I always will. You mean nothing short of everything to me. Let's not let the past hurt our future. Give me your heart. It's safe with me. I will love you better than you expect. Keep my words near and dear to your heart. It's not very often I express myself in this way. You already know, love you. Okay, so, okay, again, I was getting either you guys are together or there could be like some type of separation or disconnect. And what I'm getting with the disconnect is maybe you are interacting with this person or you know who this person is, but maybe things are on a surface level and they really haven't delved deep their emotions because they said, you know, I'm not used to opening up and they're saying, yes, I've made mistakes of the past. So there could have been some things, some obstacles, some challenges in this relationship or this, this union that caused you to maybe question how your person is feeling for you. And they said that they love you. Their love for you is uncontrollable. They probably are trying to bottle it down right now. They're not really doing that in the best way because they said they want to shout it to the rooftops. And they said that they will always love you. They said they don't want to let the past hurt your future. So that if you guys didn't have any obstacles or anything in the union, then they're trying not to let past hurts from their past relationships affect you guys. They said your heart is safe with them. So I'm getting that this person really wants you to give them a chance, really wants you to let your guard down and be a little bit more vulnerable with them as they are vulnerable with you. So now we're going to go ahead and just get a straight channel message from your person and I'm going to use the tarot to do it. Okay. And then we've got a lot of, oh, that one to say, then we got a lot of love messages to share and then I'm gonna go ahead and get you out of here so I'm gonna keep it short and sweet and we'll kick it off with the ten of wands since that one to come out clear the energy of this set things are a little hectic right now in my life I've taken on a little bit more than what I should I'm trying to balance out my priorities I know things have taken my attention away from you. That was never my intention. My intention was never to be distracted, to never put things above you. 
I'm just so focused. I'm so driven with my career right now. I have so many responsibilities. And I know sometimes you take a back seat to that. I'm sorry for that. Not my intention. I'm learning to do better. I'm just so curious. I'm so curious about all the new things coming into my life. I'm so inquisitive about what it is that I can provide for you. I'm researching. I'm studying. I want to be what you need. I want to be what you desire. I'm so eager to communicate these things. I'm so eager to tell you the plans that I'm trying to create for us, but I don't want anything to fall through. So sometimes I just take a back seat. I sit back and I just watch and I just wait. This is new for me. Opening up and being vulnerable is new for me. Can you be patient? Can you know that I'm just starting out and I'm learning? Can you trust that I do want a beginning with you? That I do want to always be honest and tell you the truth? That I'm beginning to see things more clearly about our union? But it's still going to take some time because I just have a lot on my plate. I have a lot of stuff going on right now. I'm trying to see through the BS. I'm trying to see through the own things I put in my way to hinder me. That hinder us in this love. But when I'm with you, I just see things so much more clearly. I think I get confused when we're apart, when we're not together, when we don't speak. I don't want to block the communication that we have. I want us to continue to communicate. Sometimes I just want to just throw caution to the wind and just say, you know, forget all my responsibilities. Forget all of these things that I have taken on and just love you and just throw all my passion and just throw caution to the wind. Just let you feel how much I love you, how much I desire you, how much I want you. I find you so charismatic. The way you speak is so eloquent, so charming. You have such a way with words. I wish I had that way. I really want us to move this thing forward quickly. I don't want us to stagnate. I want to take action towards you. I know you think that I don't, but I do. I will stand in my power. I have confidence in us. I have confidence in you. Never think I don't have confidence in you and and us. I do. I just really need to take care of these responsibilities right now. And I don't know if I have enough to give to you. And you deserve all of me, not some of me. Do you think you can be patient? Do you think you can keep watering this love with me even though I may not be able to give you everything you desire at this time? I want to invest in us. I want to invest in you. I don't feel like any time has been wasted in between me and you. I hope you don't think it's been wasted. You mean everything. You're everything that I would want in a person. You are successful. You are stable. You are independent. You know when to let your hair down and when to rein it back in. I want us just to be so overindulgent in this love together. I want to feel your emotional needs like you filled mine. Let's satisfy each other. Let's have an unconventional love. We don't need labels. We don't need titles. And that doesn't mean that I don't want to commit to you. That doesn't mean that I don't want to just be with you and I want to run the streets. That's not what I'm saying. Our love surpasses all of that. 
I just want to have mutual understanding and love between the two of us. I don't want us to have any trickery or deceit. I don't want to let stress and fear of mistakes in the past to hurt our future. I apologize for my deceitful ways. I apologize if I kept anything hidden from you that I should have told you. It's not my intention to be sneaky. I just want to sneak away with you, though. I do. I want us to just run away. I want to drop all these burdens and just run away with you. Spoil you. Take care of you. Give you all the love you've given me. Be as generous to you as you've been to me. Everything you feel for me, I feel for you. Never doubt that. I'm going to get my stuff together. I'm seeking angelic guidance. I'm getting my life back into control. Just have patience. Don't be frustrated with me. Have patience. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, look. We got Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This person definitely wants to have a, a family with you. Um, sees a loving home with you. Could want to have children with you piled too. The burden could also be they could be dealing with some family issues at this time. I do see the magician. So they could be trying to manifest you back into their life. But they love your intellect. They love how grounded you are. They love how emotional and loving you are and they love how fiery and passionate you are and they just want to match all that with you so it has nothing to do with you pile two if you and this person are not together and if you guys are together and they've just been seeming a little bit preoccupied and not being able to really spend time with you the way that they would hope with that ten of wands and you may be thinking they may be up to something with that seven of swords they're just saying they've taken on a lot more than they can chew as far as responsibility and could preferably be in their career space okay and they're sorry about that but they still want to continue to invest in the union pile too and they want to be loyal to it they want to be loyal to the union they want to be somebody you can look up to that you can rely on that you can depend on and they want to continue to nurture the chemistry and the passion they want to continue to have a spark in between you guys I'm hearing they never want the spark to die between you both okay all right so let's get some love messages from your person pile two this is my i love you deck i created and we're just gonna get some messages of why your person loves you pile two clear the energy of this deck all right person why do you love pile two what is about pile two that you love so much we have, I love how we are a team of perfect balance. Look at that there. Did that not say you and me? Absolutely. So whether you're together or separated, they are saying they love how you guys interact. They love that you guys could be a team. And if you guys haven't come into union yet, you know, and are in that separation uh, phase or just, you know, dating and haven't got to the level of commitment, they feel that you guys would just make a great team. They see that in you. What else? I love the way you support and encourage me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Going back to temperance and the seven of pentacles, you know, having patience, investing in the connection, investing in them, knowing how to retreat and just take a step back a little bit, you know, when they are bogged down with those burdens. What else? What else? We have, I love that you're adventurous. Yeah, with all of these wands, the knight of wands, the king of wands. Yes, even the the, the ten of wands, you know, um, it could be you're so adventurous. There's so many things that you want to try. You know, you could be overwhelming yourself. I do believe that the the intense chemistry overwhelms you both in this union. Give me one more spirit. Oh, we got two. I love the fact that I will never give up on you. So this person is telling you, regardless of whatever they got going on in their life, they are never going to give up on this love. They always want you both to fight for this love. And it says, I love you will always be there for me when I need you to be. Again, going back to that six of pentacles, that mutual give and take. You both are very supportive of each other. You both have each other's back. So this is my feelings exposed message deck and let's see what other messages your person would like to say to you 
pile two for Valentine's Day. I heard you're going to get everything you put into this pile too. So going back to that seven of pentacles, if you felt that you weren't getting what you were given, they're saying you're going to get everything you put into this pile too. All right. What else person would you like to tell pile two for Valentine's Day? I'm leaving them for you. Okay. So pile two if the burden is that this person is already with someone and that could be why you guys are in separation they're saying they have made up their mind and they are leaving them for you what else pile two you know what's up now didn't they not in the message where is the card did they not <laughs> in the message talk about you already know okay so this person <laughs> Got a little cocky vibe, pile two, and they feel like you know, you already know what's up, you already know what's in their heart. They feel like you are in tune to them, and you know the things and the challenges they have been facing, and they want to appreciate that, but they don't ever want you to question your place in their life. It says, I'm confused on which way to go. Now, listen, they said, I'm leaving them for you you know what's up and then they said i'm confused on which way to go i'm getting that could be a past energy because they said i'm leaving them for you so at one point they probably were confused on which way to go and then at some point they may have had an epiphany talking about you know what's up because that they said that they're leaving them for you give me one more what else would you like to say person how could I hurt you? And didn't they say something about past mistakes? Hold on, let me go back to this. Yeah, let's not let the past hurt our future. So I'm getting this pile. This person may have left to go be with someone else, or maybe you guys were together and broke up and they want to have a second chance, but they are saying they, they don't know how they could have hurt you that could be what is making them confused as well is because maybe they don't know how to move this thing forward because they don't know where how you feel about whatever has happened in the past that's why they're saying let's not let those past mistakes hinder what we have in the future and at the bottom of, i can see us doing business together so this person right here even though we do have you know the nine of cups we have a lot of swords, right? And we have a lot of wands, which is which is telling me one that this person thinks about you, you know, almost on a day-to-day -day basis. They have a lot of thoughts in their mind about you and they're trying to formulate them into ideas to figure out how to communicate this to you with the ace of swords to let you know that they want to move this thing forward with you. With the I'm confused on which way to go, I think they're confused because they have so many responsibilities. They're not confused about you. They're confused about how to juggle all of these responsibilities and still make time for you. Again, they want to give you everything that you have given them, that you put in with the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Also, because we have a lot of Pentacles, Swords, and Wands. I'm getting also that this person is just very practical. And they say something about keep my words near and dear to your heart. I'm not, it's not very often that I express myself in this way. And yes, I get that this person is maybe a more matter of fact type of person, a person who may be sensual, you know, but not so much as, um, passionate with their communication, just overflowing, you know, with the lovey dovey, ooey gooey words. Okay, is what I'm getting, especially with these messages. But they do feel like you guys would be great business partners. Then they say something about you guys make a good team. And that's why they're saying you know what's up. They're saying, so even though I don't express myself like that all the time, pal too, even though I don't, you know, do things with my words, um, let my actions show you. Let my actions show you how I feel about you. Now, with the Knight of Wands, they uh, again kind of rush in and their follow through is not always the best so if this person did not have a great follow through with you in the past pile two they want to change that they want to be better for you so let's go ahead and see 
this is my long distance love message deck and since they're saying they're leaving them for you okay so that means you guys aren't together in this one that's why they're saying you and me see that's what, what, what they're hoping for is you and them can be together let's see how they're feeling in this separation so person what would you like to say to pile two the few hours I spend with you are worth the thousands of hours I spend without you. So any time that you and this person have been able to spend together, Pile 2, they cherish that. Um, it's worth it to them. They never think any time that you guys spend together is pointless or meaningless to them. They're saying that is not the case. Um, you are just one thought away from my heart, no matter how far away we are. Didn't I say that this person like thinks about you like on a daily basis? This person is thinking of ways to incorporate you in their life. What else? I'd rather see you one day a year than see someone else seven days a week. So I'm getting a couple things. This person may be in a, a union or a relationship right now that they find burdensome, overwhelming, that they may not want to be in, maybe on, you know, either just broke up or on the verge of doing that, given they said, I'm leaving them for you. Things are just aren't working out over there. So it, when it says, I'd rather see you one day a year than see someone else seven days a week, you just bring them joy piled to. You just bring them joy regardless. Whether you're talking or not talking, you bring them joy and that's what they want in their life. They wanna drop all of these distractions. They wanna drop all of this stuff that they have picked up, that they have overindulged in, that they thought this is where their attention should go and they wanna put that on to you. They wanna make sure that they are devoting their time to responsibilities and priorities that are worth their time. And it says, ocean separates lands, not souls. So this person feels you guys have some type of soul connection and that no matter what's happening in either one of your lives, that you guys are going to come back together. Bottom of the deck, it says, no matter how horrible my day was, talking to you for even just one minute makes everything seem perfect. So again, no matter how much time you spend with this person, they cherish it. And I'm getting that um, time is an issue. Time is a factor between the two of you guys, meaning that there's not enough quality time being spent. And I think they mentioned that, or I mentioned that something in the channeling, and they want to give you some more time, okay? So let's go ahead and get my Be Mine Valentine's Day love note from your person. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get you out of here, pile two. So I hope the channel love note and love messages from your person. And these love messages, you know, have just warmed your heart and, you know, gave you a little clarity on how your person is feeling on Valentine's Day, okay? All right, person, for pile two. I can't get it out, hold on, y'all. Hi, y'all, you know, every time I get into the, uh, do a read and I gotta get in the camera, all right, we'll leave that there. Give me one more message for pile two person. What would you like to say? Sometimes it's a form of love just to talk to somebody that you have nothing in common with and still be fascinated by their presence. David Breen, I believe that's what it says. There is something about the way that you communicate pile two, the way that you talk to them, the way you guys conversate together. They love just having conversations with you. I'm getting, they love the sound of your voice. If you've sent them messages, they love these messages. They love your communication style. And we have two people in love, alone, isolated from the world. That's very beautiful. Milan Kundera. This person wants to, again, when I talking about the Seven of Swords, wants to sneak away, run away with you, they do. They want to just get isolated with you, just you and them. And they just really want to spend quality time with you, pile two. So that is your channel love message from the person that is on your mind. Again, I hope it resonated. If it did and you found clarity and you enjoy kicking it with your girl, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be alerted next time I drop a video. I am trying to drop once a week, so please be out on the lookout. If you are drawn to another pile, go ahead and go to that other pile and I will see you there. If not, just enjoy your day. Peace, love, and light. Hey, hey, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. For those that are new, 
I'm so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths today. My name is Empress Goddess of Healing. For those that are returning, thank you so much for supporting your girl. I appreciate every subscriber, every like, every comment, every view. So if you did not watch the intro, this reading pile three is just channeled love messages from your person or whoever is on your mind. So they had me do a little automatic writing. So I do have a love note from them. We're going to get some channeled messages from them and I'm going to take the tarot and I'm going to give you a channeled message from them. Okay. So this is just things they wish to communicate to you for Valentine's day. This pile is a pile for people who are together. Yeah. Or, or this person just strongly desires you guys to be together because the way the messages were channeled, I'm getting that you guys are a couple, but you know, you take it where it resonates and, you know, let it fall where it falls. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into it. So pile three. Oh, your channeled song. I forgot to tell pile two's channel songs. If you watch pile two, pile two, that channel song was all this love by Trey song. Pile three, your channel song is anything for you by let us see. And I will make sure I put those in the description down below. So pile three. You guys chose the card, we make a great pair, hugs and kisses. So you could be married to this person in a, in a relationship with this person. You could live with this person or just be dating this person. But this person feels that you guys make a great pair. I almost wanted to put my hands, my fingers like this. So I don't know if you guys do this, if this is something that you guys do together, but they just feel like you guys fit together okay in the inside it says you make my life wonderful happy valentine's day and it did say the love note was i love being with you so this person loves to be around you loves to be with you loves the life that you guys are creating or sharing together or this is what they hope okay but i'm really getting that this pile with their person the other love note it says, thank you for everything that you do. So pile three, this person appreciates everything you do, whether it is small or large, they appreciate the love you give them. They appreciate your time, your patience. They appreciate when you get in there, but when they do something wrong is what I just heard. <laughs> so they just appreciate everything that you do i'm hearing that they don't always tell you um that they appreciate the things that they uh, that you do and they're saying that they truly do appreciate them and they're going to try to be better with that is what i just heard okay so this is their love note and it says baby you know you are the one for me whatever happens in my life it is always better with you saying i love you is trivial compared to how deeply i feel for you no trial is too great for me to overcome to be with you. You are my warrior, my go-to, my everything. What we share have built our family is priceless to me. Loving you turned out better than I could imagine. I love you always and forever. Okay. And on the back, it was signed like your woman, your man, husband, wife. That's why I feel like... <laughs> You know, you guys are married, you you guys are committed, you're in a union, you guys see each other. If there's no labels, you see that other person as someone that you want to have a future with, build a life with. And I had wrote these channeled love notes like days ago. And I have pulled these love messages today. So how synchronistic it is, I love being with you when they were saying that everything in life is better when they're able to spend that with you pile three so this person loves you pile three they love you unconditionally no matter what they go through they're saying they want that to be with you if you guys have had any challenges or obstacles they don't sweat the small stuff is what i heard they feel like um they don't care about any of that type of stuff because they want to be with you they know that challenges come in relationships that they're saying you are perfect for them is what i just heard come on through person okay so let's clear the energy of this deck and let's go ahead and get into the channel message all right so i'm just going to use the tarot on our channel as i shuffle all right look couldn't even say ten of pentacles look at that there i love our life i love the family that we share i love our home it's so loving, so warm. I see a legacy with you. 
I see us being able to build things to leave um, things for generations to come. You make me want to do better in every area of my life. You make me want to do my best so that I can give you my best. You make me feel like my life is complete when I'm with you. I love how you stand up for us and our union, our love. I love how you have boundaries and you won't take any crap from me, that you can put me in my place when I need to be. You know, sometimes that turns me on. I'll never admit it. You know I'm stubborn, but it does turn me on. I just want to continue to fight for this. I want us to continue to learn from our mistakes, learn from those challenges, be an example to other couples. I want us to continue to heal together, to continue to just be in the flow of this love, to just enjoy each day. No matter what life throws, we can handle it together. Let's just be in the present moment. Let's keep the balance that we have. Let's not let anybody come in and throw us off kilter. I know sometimes we argue and we fight. Maybe petty arguments, baby. It's nothing serious. It's just some old habits, some old traits that we need to let go of. I think it's things from our past that we may be bringing into this. Some past hurts that we still need to, to heal. I think it's our passion, how much we love each other. I do love those fights though because the making up is just so magnetic, so wonderful. I'm not trying to cause any drama. I don't want any conflict and drama in our life. And I don't want us to allow anybody else to have any conflict and drama added to our life. Let's keep our business to ourselves. Sometimes I can move sneakily, but sometimes you sneaky too. It's in the best way though. I trust you completely and I know you trust me. We don't do things behind each other's back. That's why I love you. We don't try to hide things, but we are very protective and very guarded of our union. I love that you don't mind moving in secret and silence with me when we need to be. That keeps the drama out. I love that you protect my secrets, that I can tell you things that I know you won't tell other people. I love our sexy time and how much passion we have when we get down. I never want that to stop. I always want to take action. Always want to have us move forward. I want to be that chivalrous partner for you. When things get boring, just tell me, baby. I'll spice up the romance. I never want you looking outside of the union for what you need. I know some things have come that have shaken up this union. They've come all of a sudden. But again, like I said, trials happen. Sometimes the foundation needs to be shaken up just so we could get on stable ground. I love how you keep me on my toes. I never know what to expect from you. It's so exciting to love you. I love that you're not predictable. I love that you don't mind that sometimes I want to move things fast. Sometimes I do do things hastily and sometimes they backfire on me, but you always got my back. You don't throw things up in my face. You don't make me feel stupid. And I love that about you. I know some things have come to an end, some things that we may have wanted, some things that we hoped for in our relationship. They've come to an end, but they had to happen so that we can, you know, have a new start. Endings just mean new doors are opening, new beginnings. So it doesn't matter what has ended. We have it ended and we're not going to end. So don't worry about things that are falling away. What we need is each other. 
we will always be able to have new beginnings and passions. We will always be able to find that spark. My love for you will never die. So let's walk away. Let's walk away for all the stuff that's emotionally burdening us, all the stuff that is toxic, all the stuff that is just not fulfilling us emotionally. And then let's just have a new start. Let's just have a new start. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for anything that's done to hurt you. I'm sorry for disappointing you. But that's what happens in unions. That's what happens in marriages and relationships. We go through ups and downs. But my love is pure for you. Let's get back to that playfulness. Let's get back to seeing things with fresh eyes. We can see this love with fresh eyes. We can rejuvenate anything we need to rejuvenate in this union. My love for you has no bounds. I am loyal to you. I honor you. And I will be that king that you need in your life. You are supported, you are loved, and I will give you mutual, mutual respect, mutual love, and mutual devotion. Okay, six of wands at the bottom of the deck. They want to recognize this love. They want you to acknowledge everything that you guys have been through. They want you to celebrate the small victories as well as the big victories. But this person loves you. It doesn't matter if you guys have gone through some things. I'm getting some people may have actually gone through like grieving of someone who has passed away. If that's the case, this person wants to be your support system. So since, sorry about that. Since this group was together, I did switch up the love messages. I'm going to give you pieces of the heart with, I love you. So this is why your person loves you, pile three. I am so curious to watch these back because I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but I am curious. You know. Let's see here. All right, clear the energy of this deck. All right, person, what would you like to tell Pile 3? Why do you love Pile 3? We have, I love how I feel like I've known you my whole life. Going back to that Six of Cups, absolutely. This person feels very comfortable around you, feels that they can be their complete authentic self, does not mind being vulnerable around you also it says i love the way you take care of us absolutely so you, if you are married to this person if you guys live together they love that nurturing side of you again they said that they something i channel something about the home they love the vibe in the home also i think i said something about if you felt they didn't appreciate the things that you do they're telling you they love it they love the way you take care of them what else I love your intelligence. So they love the way you think, the way you strategize is what I just heard. You could, you could be a little business savvy, but they just love the conversations you guys have. They love how you put ideas together. They just love how you see things. They said you have a very inquisitive mind, okay? Somebody likes puzzles is what I just heard, okay? And then we have, I love the way you protect and defend me. Absolutely, and I feel like your person protects and defends you as well. So now we're gonna get some pieces from the heart. And I split this deck up because it was hard for me last time I did a reading with these to shuffle them. And we'll get a couple pieces of the heart pile three and I'm gonna get you out of here. So I hope that the channel love message from your person resonated. I hope it made you feel good on this Valentine's Day and just gave you some clarity on what's going on in the situation or just how they're feeling at this time, okay? Clear the energy of this deck. All right, person, what would you like to say to pile three? I want to hold you in my arms. So this person wants some cuddle time, pile three. So make sure you spend some time with your person. If you guys are in the same space and not a long distance connection, they want to hold you. They are desiring holding you for Valentine's Day. Touch is my love language. Absolutely. 
So again, this person said that they may not tell you all the time. They appreciate you. Pay attention to their actions, their touch. They're trying to get physical. That's how they want to express themselves to you. Pile three, you are so generous. And we have quality time is my love language. So this person just wants to spend some time with you. Pile three, they really want to just stay in the house is what I heard. Cuddle. Just enjoy your presence and they want to be very generous with you because you have been generous with them is what I just heard. They said you need to know how appreciated you are, pile three, and they want to make sure that they can do that for you. All right. Clear the energy of this deck. What else would you like to tell pile three person? We have, I fantasize about proposing to you, okay? Now look, they said we were a great pair. For those who are just, you know, in um, a relationship and have not, um, you know, gotten married or not in that long-term commitment, some are saying they fantasize about proposing to you, pile three. What else? Feeling loved by you is my favorite feeling. Bottom of the deck, I trust you with my heart look at that there so this person definitely wants to move this to the next level a more committed union for those who are just in a relationship or dating and have not you know made that commitment or stepped it up to marriage and if you are already married to this person this person is letting you know they are committed to that marriage regardless of whatever has happened in the union and they want you guys to just move forward okay i forgot to give you guys your be my valentine's day love note from your person so hold on. I always forget a note, a song, or something with a pile. I promise you I do. All right. Let's get a note real quick. Sorry about that. I'm glad I didn't pick up your cards yet. Clear the energy of this deck. All right, person. What be my Valentine's Day note? Would you like to tell pile three? Okay. It says, love is anterior to life, posterior to death, initial of creation, and the exponent of breath. Emily Dickinson. Okay, one, this person you dating may be a poet, may like books, may like, you know, literature from back in the day. But what they are saying is it says love is anterior to life. So love starts with life. Um, love happens even after death. Okay, love is at the beginning stages of creation. All right, and love comes out with every breath. So they are saying to you, from the very beginning, they loved you. Even after death, they're going to love you. From, from whatever it is that you guys go through, uh, they're going to love you, okay? And they cherish every moment, every breath that they get to have and spend with you. Pile three, bottom of the deck. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Y'all dealing with a poet, somebody old school, uh, somebody who <laughs> really likes words, okay? It says, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. So long as men can breathe or eyes can see William Shakespeare. You got William Shakespeare and Emily Dickinson. Absolutely. Somebody loves period pieces, old literature, um, reading uh, poems. Um, this person is a romantic at heart. Okay. Even if they don't display it, they are romantic at heart. Pile three and... They're just saying no one can compare to you. No one's continence, no one's beauty, no one can move them the way that you can. Okay? So again, I hope you enjoyed the reading pile three. I hope that it resonated. If it did, please leave me a comment. I love feedback. If you enjoy kicking it with your girl, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be alerted next time I drop a video. I am trying to drop them at least once a week. Last video was so heavy, y'all. So if y'all watched the Blocks and Fears, it was so heavy. I wanted to do something upbeat this time. And also, I just needed to take a break. My energy was drained, all right? So I'm gonna try to get on a better schedule um, to upload for you guys. I do enjoy making these readings for you. And again, Pile 3, I'm just so happy that you're here with me. So I hope this warms your heart for Valentine's Day. Have a beautiful Valentine's Day and then just enjoy the rest of your day. Peace, love, and light. Hey, hey, Pile 4, welcome to your reading. For those who are returning, thank you so much. I appreciate your support, your likes, your comments, subscribe.
subscribing. I truly appreciate the support to the channel. For those that are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Empress Goddess of Healing, and I'm so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths today. So if you did not watch the intro, this reading is just channeled love messages from your person for Valentine's Day. So they did have me do a little automatic writing. So I do have a channel love note from them. We're going to do some love messages, lots of love messages, and I'm going to channel a message from them to you using tarot. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, before I forget your channeled song from them is Rihanna love song and i'll make sure i put that in the description box below so let's get into it pile four you guys chose the valentine's day card love you to the moon stars and back so this person is letting you know they have very deep love for you and this pile you may not know this person has deep love for you or you may feel they don't love you anymore, but they still do. So this is either a no contact pile or this is a pile where you knew this person from your past, either by dating them or there's just someone from your past um, who wants to send you a message for Valentine's Day, okay? And it says, on Valentine's Day and every day. So they're saying they love you to the moon, stars, and back. Not only just Valentine's Day, but every day, which is so synchronistic with this love note. Sorry, guys. Which is, which is so synchronistic with this love note. Now, when I bought the cards and channeled the notes, the love notes from your person, I did this days ago, okay? And I pulled these cards today. And this love note says, I fall for you all over again every day. Now, they said in this card, they love you to the moon stars and back, not only on Valentine's Day, but every day. And they're saying again, they fall for you every day. So this person is just really in their feelings for you, pile four. Each day brings them to a new level of awareness in how they feel for you. And they find this scary and exciting at the same time <laughs> is what I'm hearing. It says, if I know what love is, it's because of you. So you have taught them about love, Pile 4. Regardless if you thought that you didn't, regardless of how brief your encounter was, how rocky it could have been, if this is someone from your past, if this is an ex, how you interacted with them showed them, you know, what love is. And, it, and they have another one. You are adorable. And it has like two polar bears kissing. So I'm getting this person is longing to kiss you, Pile 4. And they find you so adorable. You have a playful energy that they like. Um, I'm hearing spunky. You're a little bit spunky and they like that. Um, and some of you may look younger than your actual age and they love that as well. They love how youthful you look. So the love note says, you don't know this, but I love you to the moon and back. Surprised, I know. It started long ago. Somewhere, somehow, you became my predominant thought. I began to smile for no reason. I began to pray for you. I started looking for you, hoping to run into you. Crazy, I know. But it's true. At night, I lie there wondering what you're up to. Could you be thinking of me too? Is this love I feel? Couldn't be, but here I am with you on my mind yet again. I think I love you. I know I want you, but I truly think I love you. Huh? Someone you once knew. Look at that there, pile four. So this person is acknowledging that they have deep feelings for you and emotions for you pile four but they are a little bit confused as if it's love or if it's infatuation if it's just lust 
they're not really sure, but they deep down, they feel and know that they love you. So this person could just be kind of battling with those emotions, may not want to fully delve deep into loving you, but they do, Pile 4, they do. They love you, I can feel it. This person loves you, okay? So, and they said someone you want new. So I'm getting that they either have not come back around and told you this, Pile 4, that they have these feelings for you, or if you guys had a bad breakup or they did something to cause you to walk away from them, they could feel that maybe you won't believe them if they tell you this. But what I'm getting most is they're really just trying to get a handle on how they are feeling for you at this time. The fact that this card says, I love you to the moon and back, lets me know that this person lies awake at night. They think about you most at night, okay? That one to stay. I look at that, the six of cups, and we talking about somebody said someone you once knew. But they think about you a lot at night. Their quiet time is when they think of you. When my mind has a chance to be still is what I heard, is when they think of you. But you run through their mind all the time is what they're saying. Let's go ahead and get into the channel message. Clear the energy of this deck, and we're going to start off with the six of cups. There's so much that I want to give you. There's so much that I want to show you. I'm different from what you used to know. I'm not the same person from the past. I've grown up. I've let go of some of my childish ways. I know I wasn't supportive of you or the union in the past, but I want to be supportive now. I want to be that friend that you've always been to me. I want to give you the love that you gave to me. I just want us to have balance. I feel so off balance without you in my life. I feel like I'm missing a piece of home without you in my life. I know you don't know this or don't think this, but our separation, our ending is so painful for me. I never wanted us to end. I never wanted any of what took place between us to happen. I know sometimes things have to end for things to begin again, but sometimes I don't think we're gonna have a new beginning. Sometimes I feel you don't want the new beginning. It has left me with so many issues of abandonment. I just feel thrown away by you. And I know it's probably my fault, but I still feel that way. I don't want to be in sorrow and sadness anymore. I don't want to inflict any sorrow and sadness on you. Let's weather the storm together. Could we come back together? I'm changing my mindset. I'm not trying to be just focused on my material life, the material aspects of this world. For a long time, I felt that I was only worthy if I had enough money or if I had shiny things to show for it. I'm learning that that's something that I have to let go. That, that's a past belief that I'm trying to let end. Because I know that it's caused a lot of problems in my relationships. And I don't want that to cause problems between us. But I want you to know, even if I don't have anything, to have your love would mean the world to me. To know that you love me and that we can weather any storm is more than money. It's more than anything that could be bought with money in this world. I know you've been frustrated. And I know I've caused that frustration. I know sometimes I can be a little out of control. But I can let things of the outside world affect me. And I could have brought that to you. And if I did, I'm sorry. If I caused things in the outside world to cause me to walk away from you, I'm sorry. 
I've been meditating. I've been going within. I've been trying to get answers on how to move this forward with you. I've been trying to regain my strength. I've been trying to release the need to control every aspect of my life. I know I can be bullheaded and strong, strong minded sometimes. But that's when I need your love and your support. That's when I need you to be gentle with me so then I can be vulnerable and be gentle with you. I'm just afraid to be vulnerable. I'm just scared to let my guy down. That's all. But I want to take the risk. I have faith in us. I want to take the leap. I don't want to be reckless with your heart. Do you feel my love? Can you feel when I think of you? Can you feel when I long for you? My heart longs for you. You're so mature. You know how to handle your emotions. I'm learning this. I'm learning this from you. You're so giving. You're so compassionate. I love the way you are with children. I can see having children with you. Sometimes I just want you to just tap into my emotions and know. The times when I can't speak to you and express those things, tap into my emotions and know how I feel about you. Because I'm not the best with communicating lovingly. I'm not the best with those affectionate words. I'm more logical. I make my decisions based on real facts, not just emotions. And the way my heart leads me. I'm trying to let my heart lead me. I'm trying to communicate better. I know how to communicate. I'm a great communicator. I just don't know how to communicate when it comes to love. I'm willing to release some of the control. And part of releasing some of that control is releasing things that are taking my attention away from you. I do have options. I do have many choices. But I want to choose you. That saying, all that glitters isn't gold, is true. They've been shiny distractions. I want to pour all my love into you. Can I pour all my love into you? Will you accept it? Because I've been planning for our future. I know you think I haven't, but I have. I've been weighing things. I've been weighing pros and cons. I've been seeing what areas in my life that I need to change so I can be better for you. I'm serious about us. And I'm not coming to you until I know that I can give you what I want, what I've been planning. I know you want me to rush and take action. I know you want me to come and charge for it. You have no idea how aggressively I want to pursue you. But it's got to be right. Can you give me some time? Can you be patient? Are you so frustrated that you're going to walk away? I don't want to argue. I don't want to fight. I don't want to disappoint you. Can we talk calmly? If I come to you and tell you this, can we talk calmly? If I tell you I want you to be loyal to me, would you? In return, I'll give you my loyalty. If I told you I wanted to give you my body, would you take it? Would you give me yours? I want us to be intimate together. I know I'm kind of authoritative. I like things a certain way. I also know that you got other people vying for your attention right now and that makes me jealous. I don't want any competition. I know we're not together. I know you have every right to do what you want to do, but I don't want any competition. I don't want anybody to have you. I want us to grow. Let's try to make it work. 
Let's celebrate. Let me take you away from all the noise, all the chaos. Just me and you. Just me and you. I'm sorry for all the disappointment, for the sudden changes, for the abrupt stop in contact. It was out of my control. It had to happen. I'm trusting when the time is right, the foundation will be rebuilt. Because I have so much love that I want to offer you. So much love that I want to give you. So many things that I wish to express to you. In this cup, I see beauty. I see romance. I see you having my babies. I just see God blessing this union. I see a pure love. A love that can stand the test of time. So can we put all the conflict behind us? Can we put the disagreements behind us? I don't mind a little healthy competition just as long as I know they can't take you from me. Don't let them take you from me. I know I hold my emotions back from you, but it doesn't discount how deep my emotions are for you. I know I have walls built up. It'll take a while for those walls to come down. But if you're patient, they'll come crashing down just like that tower. They'll come crashing down and you will be showered with all of the love, all of the love that I have for you. I know it's going to be a fight. I know it's going to be a fight. Can you handle the challenge? Are you up for the fight? Is our love worth the fight? Because I don't want to be trapped anymore. I don't want to be trapped in my emotions for you, for my love for you. I don't want to not be able to see a way forward with you. We're both trapped in our head about this. Let's get out of our head and let's get into our heart. Let's find balance. You deserve everything that you have given me and I want to give that to you. Let's make this official. Okay, pile four. And we got <laughs> we got the page of wands and the seven of pentacles. So this person is very enthusiastic about you, very curious, very passionate, definitely wants to be physical with you. I'm feeling a lot of chemistry, sexual passion. Definitely wants that. Okay. So if they can have their way with you on Valentine's Day, they would definitely want some time in the bedroom. They know you're frustrated with what's going on in the union. They are also frustrated with that seven of pentacles, but they also want to put in the work. They, they feel like this is something that needs to be nurtured over time. They don't feel anything needs to be rushed and they definitely want this to grow they want this to move forward so let's go ahead and get some more messages from your person all right so we're going to get some why i love you messages now it's funny that all of a sudden i'm getting cold y'all i had this other shirt on because i don't be trying to just be wearing tank tops in front of y'all all the time but when i put it on i sweat so i took it off and now i'm cold but we ain't gonna go get it right now okay clear the energy of this deck all right, person, why do you love pile four? I love the special moments we share. Absolutely. So even though you guys are in separation or no contact at this time, whatever moments that you guys have shared, they cherish, they value those, they love those. That's what's keeping them, you know, drawn back to you. What else, spirit? We have, I love your so this person, if they have been around you, loves the way that you smell, whether it is natural or you wear perfume or cologne. If they have never been around you, they envision 
how you smell. And in their mind, you smell good as hell, okay? <laughs> All right, what else we have? I love how you make me laugh. Look at that there. So they feel you have a great sense of humor, Pile 4. Whether you just talking or not, you say things, messages you send them. You know, if they watch you on social media, things that you post, they just feel that you are very funny, okay? They love that you make them laugh. I love your spontaneity. So they love your not, uh, you know, predictable pile four that you can spice things up, that you can keep them on their toes. They love that. And we have, I love how um, you are never stubborn about making up. Now, I don't know if I channeled in this one or not that somebody was stubborn, but they love that. So, so I think I said something about they were willing, uh, wondering if you were willing to, you know, give this another go. And the fact that they're saying they love that you are not stubborn, they are hoping, they are hoping that this time you won't be stubborn and, you know, go ahead and give this another shot. Bottom of the deck, I love that you still give me butterflies. So no matter how much time pile four has been between you and this person, you still give them butterflies. Okay, they said every day they fall for you again. Every day, more and more, they fall for you. Clear the energy of this deck. It is cold all of a sudden. What is going on? All right. Clear the energy of this deck. All right, person, what else would you like to tell Pile 4? It's hard to put down my player wave. Okay, now with the King of Wands. And I think we had the Knight of Wands. This person could have been a person who, you know, liked to have a lot of options going back to that Seven of Cups. And they're saying it's hard for them to put down their play away. So that could be a reason why you guys are in no contact and separation, but they are contemplating putting those down. I will put in the work. What I just say? What I just say? So they're saying, although that they may have been a player or play yet, you know what I'm saying? Females can be players too, you know? And, um, that, you know, they may not have been giving you the attention that you deserve, could have been treating you like an option like the other people they are dating. They're saying they don't want to do that anymore. They're willing to put in the work for you, okay? You got through my armor. Look at that there. Didn't I say something about, you know, they had walls, but they're willing to let them down? They're saying you have cracked through those walls. So that foundation, you know, that guard may not have come all the way down, but you were able to pierce that armor, pile four. And we have stopped making things difficult okay so now look <laughs> pile four <laughs> if you know you done put your foot down or you know you done thrown a little tension tension and like hey now listen I don't like what's going on here okay and that's what stopped y'all from talking um or not being together they're saying that you're making things difficult but I think that's just them talking smack they don't really feel that you are making things difficult they're just hoping that you are not going to be stubborn when it's time to make up give me one more I don't want anyone else in your arm now didn't I say something about that with the channel they're talking about the competition or something yeah they don't want anybody else touching you being with you loving on y'all heard kissing you <laughs> this person is a little territorial pile four and we have look bottom of the deck I should have been honest okay so again because we do have an ending in this with that death card they're wishing that they would have communicated more to you the things that they probably should have if that could have prevented the ending. However, they are willing to be honest with you now. So this is my long distance love deck. And I use that for people who are in separation, long distance unions, or no contact. So let's get a few more messages and then we're going to get a Be Mine Valentine's Day message from them and we're gonna go ahead and get you out of here pile four that one to say those two so i hope these messages resonate i hope it just gives you a little clarity of how your person is feeling this valentine's day and just warms your heart and gives you some ooey gooey vibes okay so hold on clear the energy of this day all right person what else would you like to say to pile four you may be out of my sight but never out of my mind i miss you okay did they say something about every day um, they would, they love you to the moon and back and the stars. And then over here, they fall in love with you every day. Absolutely. And you show them what love is. So they say, even if they are out of your sight, even if you may not know what is going on with them, pile four, they are saying not only do they miss you, 
but they're saying that you are never out of their mind. They are always thinking of you, especially at night. It says distance is just a test to see how far love can travel. I'm getting a couple things with that. This person might be testing you a little bit just to see, you know, your level of loyalty, to see, you know, how you interact outside of their presence. So I get that this person could be, you know, testing you a little bit, but they're also testing, I'm getting like the universe, their faith, to see if this really is a union that can stand the test of time like they believe. Oh, okay, hold on. I talk for okay, we have, you'll always be my favorite what if. So again, since you guys are not together in this no contact situation, you are always on their mind. They are always, then we have some about with the two uh, of wands and the three wands planning. They are always in their mind, like trying to see a future with you too. We're just fantasizing about a future with you. And it has, I don't miss you and you alone. I miss you and me together. Absolutely. They miss everything that you guys have shared together. I'm getting whatever options they have or whoever they entertain and they not you. Pile four, bottom of the deck. Sometimes I miss you so much. I just want to rip you out of my dreams and hug you. Yes. At night. Didn't I say that they was thinking about you, probably dreaming about you too. And they said they wish that they could just rip you out of their dreams and hug you. This person is really longing to be with you. Misses you the most at night in those quiet times. So let's go ahead and get a be mine message from your person. I'm going to go ahead and get you out of here. Pile four. See, now I done got extremely hot. Look at that there. Look at that there. <laughs> Clear the energy of this deck. I just heard I love you and nothing's ever going to change that pile four. Look at that there. All right, what do you have to say? Um, you are the finest, loveliest, tenderest, and most beautiful person I've ever known. And even that is an understatement. F. Scott Fitzgerald, look at that there, says you are the finest, loveliest, tenderest, and most beautiful person I have ever known. And even that is an understatement. I'm telling you, you are the best of the best of the best to this person. Pile four, nobody tops you. Bottom of the deck. It is good to love many things, for therein lies the true strength. And whosoever love much performs much and can accomplish much. And what is done in love is well done. Vincent Van Gogh, and I'm going to read it again. It says, it is good to love many things, for therein lies the true strength. And whosoever loves much performs much and can accomplish much. And what is done in love is well done, Vincent Van Gogh. And this person was talking about player ways, right? And we had those options and they said it's good to love many. So they realized, you know, they may have been, you know, spreading themselves a little too thin with all of the different people that they are entertaining. And although that it has been good for them and they've had fun doing that, what I'm getting from this is that your love just tops all of that, okay? They say um, love much performs much. Hold on, it says, and whosoever loves much performs much. So I'm getting they could have been a little burdensome, you know, with all of these people that they have been entertaining. And although that they could accomplish much, they accomplish the desires of their heart, okay? It says, what is done in love is well done. And I think they want to love you. They want to do it well with you. But that's what I'm getting from that with the Vincent Van Gogh. Because, you know, that's like old English. Maybe that this person is romantic, given the fact that I have Vincent Van Gogh. Um, but basically... They don't, they don't want to spread their love, even though it's fine and it's a good thing to have multiple partners and multiple people. I'm getting this person doesn't want that anymore. They want to love well, but they want to love well just with you. I was drawn to the bottom of the deck. To love and be loved is to feel the sun from both sides. David Viscott, absolutely. They want to give that equal give and take to you, pile four. They want to love you and they want to be loved by you and they want you guys to have positive, 
vibes. You feel positive vibes from them and they feel positive vibes from you, okay? So that is your reading pile for. I hope it resonated. If it did, please leave me a comment. I love feedback. If you liked it, if you enjoy kicking it with your girl, please hit that thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you can be alerted next time I post a reading. And please subscribe. Let's help build the channel so my videos can get out to more people. I truly appreciate the support. Um, I, my goal is to upload at least once a week, so I will try to be more um, cognizant of that so I can get videos out to you more often. And I just hope you enjoy your love messages from your person for Valentine's Day. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day, Pile 4. If you're drawn to another pile, go ahead and check that out. I'll see you over there. And if not, just enjoy the rest of your day. Peace, love, and light.